Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. How are you all doing today? I pray for God's blessings and grace and peace upon each and every person watching this video. Um, that you seek God, because if you seek Him, you will find Him. I pray for God's favor to go before you, behind you, beside you. To pray Psalms 91 over each and every one of you. That God will charge His angels to go uh, and protect you in all your ways. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to seek you, Father God, and to find you, Lord, that you never leave us or forsake us. We praise and we glorify your holy name in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, everybody. How you all doing? I want to talk to you about this verse in Isaiah, man. Just please listen to this verse. It's so amazing. It says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Woo, honey. Now it shall spring forth. Shall yet shall it says basically, do you not know that I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert? Man, we serve a way maker God. I pray that whatever you're going through today, that you stop and think about the God that we serve. You know, please don't have a casual relationship with God. Make it intimate. Listen, when you really like somebody, I'm talking to all you women and men out there that, you know, when you start dating, when you really like, you call them all the time. You stay on the phone for hours. You'd be like, oh, you hang up. No, you hang up. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Every single one of us has gone through that. So why are we being so casual with the things of God, with spending time with him when he has never left us or forsaken us? You know, knowledge is one thing, right? And wisdom is another. We know that. But the difference is this. Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. But wisdom is knowing not to put that tomato in a fruit salad. So I pray today that each of you have the wisdom of God. And you know what the Bible says? If you don't have any, ask him. It says, ask for wisdom. I pray that you understand that there's such a difference in the way if you just stop thinking the way you think and start comparing it to what God says, you're going to realize how close or how far off you are. And then if you know that you're far off, then you can start making adjustments, right? But if you don't know, you're never going to change. So I pray that you make an effort to just... Don't get, get, get intimate, get intimate, put on some music and worship God and get intimate with him and baby, he will show up. I'm telling you, I love you guys. I am on um, intimate way lane and uh, peace place. Where are you at? Holla.